So the culture with the people here in Kenya, it's amazing. Of course, I have Marwa, you know, that this is an advantage that he hosted me on my first week here. And it was like totally like amazing experience, but um, people, people and culture. Talking about Marwa, how close are you with Marwa? Mm. Marwa for me, it's like, um, for me, he's like an angel in a form of body. I really appreciate him mm. and uh, we have really good relationship. Mm. We met like, this is the third time that we meet each other in one, in 11 months. Mm. So it's a lot. Mm. Um, we have really good connection. We actually had the same vibe. Mm. Uh, we can talk like really deep conversations. Doing the same content too? Doing, yes, you can say it's the same. He helped me a lot. Mm. Like uh, with tips, advices, everything. His uh, family is amazing also, you know. So for me, like to be in his house mm. and uh, my friendship with him will be like, I'm very grateful to, to what he did for me. And uh, definitely my friendship with him will be for maybe very a lifetime, long. you know. I can see him as a friend of a lifetime. Yes, And definitely. I saw you in Mara's place. Obviously, I've said that you are in his village. How was your experience in his village? Wow. First of all, his family is amazing family. And mm. uh, we got like really amazing room. Mm. His mother, Mama Esther, took care of us like in terms of food. All the time there was food on the table and the food was really, really good. Like, I mean, I love African food. I love Kenyan food. So mm. for me, like Ugali and all these Sukuma wiki and uh, omena and all this food. So you have even omena. omena. Yeah, I think no, just the small ones, but mm. I, I tasted also fijuros. Fijuro? Fijuro. It's like the f a little bit small. bigger uh. than uh, omena, but they fried it, deep fried it, and it's very crunchy. It's like a snake, oh. you know? Oh, I How do you call it here in Mombasa? We call it katashingo. Katashingo. Okay, mm. so katashingo. In, in the village, it's Fi called figuro. Mm. They are called katashingo because they don't have the head. Ah, so they had the head. You eat it they with the head. head. Yes, we eat Some with the head. Some of them they don't have. Okay. That's why they are called katashingo. Katashingo. Okay, so what I ate specifically it was with the head and everything. Mm. Mm. And uh, I mean, the, the experience in the village like was, phew, it was mind-blowing. For me, it's like... It was also a good content to create mm. and this village has a lot of YouTubers inside because Marwa supports a lot of YouTubers and give yeah. them like a lot of inspiration mm. through the villa. Mm. The villa is an amazing con progress so you see that it's gonna be an amazing house over mm. there and uh, Marwa by the way is here now so he's in Mombasa he's already, in Mombasa yes, too. he just arrived mm. yesterday. Oh. So for me, like, uh, it was perfect, perfect experience in the village. Like, I couldn't ask for more. This is what I told him all the time. I couldn't ask for more. Mm. He was all the time a little bit like busy with building the house and everything. Yeah. But for me, I didn't care, you know, I didn't need Marwa like with me all the time. For me, it's like just having uh, like time. The, the time, the, the minimum time that he can have with me because I was on by my own, like you, like you see now, like I go, I film, I don't need him like to hold my head or something. Yeah. And last time, last time someone came to Mara's place, that was, I, Mi I guess it's ex-boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And after he went, he started complaints about the family. Yeah. What do you say about that? Because you are there and you are happy having your time. Um, basically, I don't like to talk about other people. I mm. can tell you that that I will make it like very short. Mm. That my experience was nothing less than perfect. Mm. It was like I think I couldn't get like much better food from what I get there. Like mm. the food, I, I really, I really say it like honestly, the food was top notch, like was top level for me. It's mm. like, I love Ugali. I can eat Ugali every day. So for me, it was a bonus to have Ugali every day. So yeah. for him, 
you don't like the food, but I think like in the end of the day, it's not, it's not about it. Maybe, you know, there was some other things, but I don't want to get into it because, you know, this is like between, okay. between them. them. But for me, in my experience, mm -hmm. it was like That's the best. Yeah, actually, I think I, I like uh, I, I I summarize it like uh, in the end of the day, the atmosphere, the, the um, experience was nothing less than perfect, mm -hmm. and uh, that's it. I think like I said everything like I think in the in the first part. So like I give you like very detailed, uh, mm -hmm. very detailed answer. Wow, oh the breeze. Okay, the let's breeze. take the, the head off. <laughs> you enjoy it? Yes, I really like it. Yes. Less uh, humidity for me. Yeah. So and it's talking good. about Mara's place, I saw Mara and you and the other girl, Coco girl, you are building Anne's place. Maybe do you contribute anything yeah. in building the place? Their uh, house? Contribute? Me? No, I didn't contribute. I did like other things, like, mm -hmm. uh, but I was there and I saw the progress and it mm -hmm. was really fast. Mm -hmm. I think one of the fastest progress that I Who saw. Who came with the idea? Uh, Marwa, mm -hmm. because they are um, neighbors of him for years mm -hmm. and uh, he wanted to help them. Mm -hmm. So he just built the house in like one and a half week. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. From scratch. Less than seven days actually. Uh, from scratch. I think from scratch, mm -hmm. like the whole thing, like one, one and a half week, maybe he finished it like these days it's gonna be finished like with uh, you know with the uh, like final uh, decorations like and everything mm -hmm. final touch-ups but uh, definitely it was uh, amazing crazy crazy yeah, yeah. Hey, and also what's your relationship with B with was D? it the first time meeting yeah. him at her place for me it was our first time mm -hmm. uh, D and us uh, I mean me and Coco Girl and D was really got connected uh, good D is an amazing person mm -hmm. uh, she's uh, had a lot to give mm -hmm. and uh, we are here with her mm -hmm. so you know it, it says everything that uh, he actually actually continued to travel inside Kenya with us so even I think Coco Girl was with her today. Ah, by the way, Coco Girl and her sleep at the same house. So, yeah. So they sleep together. So, yeah. What do you tell about the people who go to someone's place and start negativity? Mm, think twice before you do it. Mm -hmm. I don't... I think twice before you do it because uh, mm -hmm. if someone's... If someone uh, welcome you mm -hmm. to his house yeah. and uh, to his like most private place and uh, you don't like it just go yeah. it's much better mm -hmm. than say uh, things like uh, I didn't feel here uh, I didn't like the food or uh, just go if it's not suits you mm -hmm. go but don't say bad things about people and stay there you know this is what it's, I, it's not fine yes it's not fine definitely I I I don't like this way of behavior, but you know, this is his choice, his yeah. life. You know.